Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese navigation technology. Before BIDA achieved independent networking, most of China used the GPS Global Positioning System of the United States, which was almost a must for smartphones. But now BIDA has achieved independent networking and has been fully promoted to every household. According to public data, China's BIDA domestic use has crushed the US GPS. What is the specific level? How is the popularization of BIDA? Where is BIDA widely used? In the global satellite positioning system, the US GPS has always been dominant. As early as the 1970s, the United States began to develop GPS and launched the first GPS satellite in 1989, which started the process of global networking. It took the United States 20 years to build GPS to realize all-round real-time positioning of sea, land and air, costing a total of more than 20 billion US dollars. The 20 billion US dollars in that era can be said to be an astronomical figure. You can imagine how much effort the United States has spent on building GPS. Of course, the United States also earns huge returns by relying on GPS, providing positioning system services on a global scale, and almost all large and small terminal devices are equipped with GPS. Especially in China, before China completed the independent networking of self-developed BIDA satellites, GPS occupied an absolute monopoly position. Every smartphone is equipped with GPS, and the location service function also displays the words GPS. But all this has undergone earth-shaking changes after BIDA realized independent networking. When the user turns on the positioning function, the words GPS are no longer displayed, but location information which means that the mobile phone has built-in BIDA and other positioning systems. BIDA has begun to be widely used, and it is only the beginning to be equipped with smartphones. The most important thing is that it can replace GPS in all aspects of life and provide users with services. According to public data, the domestic use of China's BIDA has crushed the American GPS based on the BIDA system. The Gaudamap uses BIDA satellites for more than 210 billion times of positioning every day. Therefore, BIDA surpasses GPS and dominates China's positioning. Navigation service and the range beyond is as high as 30%. It can be seen that BIDA has truly achieved popularization, providing people's livelihood services in the user-oriented field and meeting basic positioning, navigation, and other needs. It is estimated that Biden did not expect that the GPS of the United States would be surpassed so quickly. BIDA fully catches up with the position of GPS in domestic navigation applications, and if more time is given to BIDA, it is estimated that not only the field of people's livelihood, but also other application fields such as disaster monitoring and remote sensing mapping will also be dominated by BIDA. Roughly speaking, what kind of service functions can BIDA achieve? Taking Autonavi as an example, with the support of BIDA satellites, when users are waiting for traffic lights, the specific waiting time can be displayed in the app, and the countdown of traffic lights can be synchronized in real time, allowing car owners to respond in a timely manner. Not only that, but also the launch of functions such as lane-level navigation and shared location reporting safety 
have provided service needs for the majority of users, all of which stem from the technical support provided by BIDA. What is the popularization process of BIDA? The R&D and birth of BIDA also experienced hard work. Originally, China participated in the Galileo Global Satellite Positioning System project in Europe and invested a lot of money. As a result, the other party and the United States operated in secret to prevent China from participating in core projects. So China set the goal of independent research and development of the BIDA system and finally launched the last satellite in 2020 to achieve a global independent network and get rid of its dependence on GPS. At this point in development, what is the process of BIDA popularization? From a domestic point of view, as of the end of 2021, more than 7.9 million operating vehicles have been equipped with the BIDA system. Smartphones on the market also support BIDA system for wide application. Internationally, BIDA has signed cooperation agreements with 137 countries around the world to promote BIDA to the international market and provide civilian terminal navigation services. In addition, the BIDA system has joined the International Medium Orbit Satellite Search and Rescue System, which means that BIDA has become a member of the International Search and Rescue Satellite Organization and BIDA will also provide support in international search and rescue operations in the future. Joining the organization also shows that BIDA has greater influence in the international field and continues to provide high-value services. BIDA is still on the way forward, and it is expected to form an industrial scale of 400 billion yuan in the future. Under the huge output value, BIDA-based positioning chips, navigation systems and terminal products will continue to be developed. Some American media said that China is not buying it anymore and has no dependence on GPS. So will GPS be completely abandoned? In fact, this is not absolute. Perhaps in the eyes of many people, with BIDA, GPS can stop serving. But what needs to be known is that the significance of the birth of BIDA is not only to get rid of dependence, but also to have second-hand preparations at critical moments. If the United States takes the initiative to shut down GPS in the country, it will not have much impact on the country. If the United States continues to provide GPS services, it still has meaning for some users. BIDA and GPS complement each other to provide convenience for the public. With the support of BIDA, there is no need to worry about whether GPS will be disabled in the future. And from the perspective of the United States, if you don't want to completely lose GPS in the domestic market, maintaining the service is the best choice. China has built the BIDA system for decades, and now it is time to convert the results. A map has launched many functional services through BIDA, and Huawei has also completed the satellite communication function based on BIDA's breakthrough technology of piercing the sky. Mate 50 has become the first popular smartphone in China that supports satellite communication. It is believed that the functions of BIDA will be more perfect in the future to bring a better life to the people. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.